You are welcome to another video of ISIS routing protocol concept and configuration. In this section, we will talk about ISIS adjacency fundamental. Adjacency is the first step to learn not only ISIS but any other routing protocol. In this section, we will learn the difference between level 1 and level 2 adjacency, ISIS adjacency differences in LAN and point to point interfaces, adjacency timers. IJCC requirements in ISI sorting protocol and also ISIS IJCC states which help us to troubleshoot neighborship in ISI sorting protocol. ISI protocol like most routing protocols in the first step identifies its neighbors before transmitting any information. The purpose of forming an adjacency as with other routing protocol is to ensure that our adjacency parameters are compatible or identical between neighboring routers. The second goal of forming an adjacency is to track the status of the neighboring routers so that if the connection with any neighboring router is broken, it will be quickly identified to reduce the convergence time. ISIS routers identify and track their neighbors by sending and receiving hello packets which are transmitted every 10 seconds by default. There are two types of hello packets in ISIS protocol, level 1 and level 2. Hello packets sent on LAN interfaces is different from hello packets sent on point-to-point -point interfaces. Hello packets sent on LAN interfaces has two types, level 1 and level 2. In other words, the hello packet sent by level 1 routers on the LAN interface is separate from the hello packet sent by level 2 routers on the same LAN interface. Therefore, if two routers on the LAN are both of level 1, level 2 type, two independent adjacency are created, one for level 1 and the other for level 2. But in point-to-point -point interfaces, only one type of hello packet is sent which contain both level 1 and level 2 router information. You may ask why hello packets related to level 1 routers is sent separately from level 2 routers in LAN networks. The answer is clear because there may be several routers in a LAN network and some routers are only of level 1 type, some routers are only of level 2 type and the other routers are of level 1, level 2 type. For example, in this figure, router R1, R2, R3, and R4 form an level 1 adjacency, but router R1, R4, and R5 form an level 2 adjacency, and therefore level 1 neighbors are different from level 2 neighbors. In point-to-point -point interfaces, there are always two neighbors that are either level 1 or level 2 or level 1, level 2. In the ISIS protocol, like all other routing protocols, it's necessary to match some parameters of the neighboring routers to form an adjacency. Some of the parameters that are important in the adjacency of ISIS are uh, displayed in the figure. Having the same area number is necessary to form a level 1 adjacency but it's not important for a level 2 adjacency. In ISIS, as in EIGRP routing protocol, it's not important that neighboring routers have the same hello time and hold time, and each router expects the hello packet according to the hello time configured in the neighboring router. It is necessary to have the same authentication information between neighboring routers when it is configured. The implementation of authentication will be discussed in the next sections. In ISIS, there are three adjacency states. Knowing these states help us to troubleshoot adjacency problems easier. Down, this means that no hello packet was received from that neighbor during the hello time. Initializing, in this case, hello packet has been received from the neighbor but the neighbor has not received the hello packet of this router. In the hello packet, there is a field, is neighbors, which lists the routers 
whose hellos are received on each interface. So if the neighboring hello is received, but the router address is not in the IS neighbors field, the router knows or understand that the neighbor router has not yet received that router's hello packet. And up state or up status, the up neighbor state means that two neighbors have received each other's hello packet and also agreed on the parameters of the ISIS protocol. For example, if authentication is enabled, the password information is the same between neighboring routers. It's not bad to know exactly which information are transferred through hello packet in ISIS routing protocol. This photo which is taken from Amit Bhagat blog shows the details of a level one LAN hello packet. This output is not related to our topology and just for better understanding. The information sent in hello packet is displayed in the figure. System ID of the router that sends the hello packet. Priority which is used to select designated IS which is equivalent to designated router in OSPF but in ISIS there is no concept of backup designated IS. LAN ID which is formed by adding one byte to the system ID of designated IS router. The reason for adding this one byte is that if the same router becomes designated IS again for another LAN, we can use this one byte to separate these two designated IS. Area number, list of neighboring routers, authentication information which is not activated in this figure, IP address of the interface, and list of supported protocol. The information that is sent in point-to-point -point hello packet is the same as LAN hello packet with the difference that it does not include LAN ID and priority. But it has a circuit ID byte that specifies the router interface and has been discussed before. There is a topology identical to the topology that we saw at the beginning of this section. The configuration is shown here, but we don't discuss about the configuration since they are discussed in the previous section. There are five rotors from one to five, the same LAN, and the net ID is configured according to the rotor number, and the subnet is 192.168.1. S-24, all rotors are in the same area, area 1, rotor R1 is a level 1, level 2 rotor, rotor R2 is a level 1 rotor, rotor 3, level 1, rotor 4, level 1, level 2, and rotor 5, level 2 rotors. In this topology, we can see the output of the adjacency table, for example, on rotor R1, with the command show ISIS neighbors let's check it show ISIS neighbors as you can see in this output rotor R1 has created two separate adjacency with rotor R4 one of the type of level 1 and the other of the type of level 2 to see the details of the neighborship we can use the command show ISIS neighbor details at the end of this command again for rotor R4 as you can see in the output there are two records for the neighbor R4 is created one for level 1 and the other for level 2 the system ID of the neighbor type of the neighbor IP address of the neighbor area number and land priority are some important fields that are shown in the output of this command. As you already know, all ISIS rotors are level 1, level 2 by default, so they send both level 1 and level 2 hellos on LAN interfaces. As already shown, if you want the rotor to be level 1 only, we use the command IS type level 1 command so that the rotor will only send level 1 hello packet. 
if you want the rotor to send level 2 only hello packet then we use the command is 5 level 2 only if the rotor is of the type of level 1 level 2 for example rotor 1 and if you want to send only level 1 or level 2 hello packet on a specific interface then we use isis circuit type command in the interface context mode to determine the type of hello packet send which we don't have configured in our topology as i've mentioned at the beginning of this section hello packets are transmitted every 10 seconds by default to change the interval of sending hello packets to minimize the convergence time we use the command isis hello interval in the interface command for example interface eth0 zero and isis hello interval by default hold time is the three times of hello time to change the hold time multiplier we use the command isis whole hello multiplier in the interface context mode which the minimum number is three there are three points worth mentioning in ISIS agency timer commands. First, it's possible to change the value of hello time and hold time at level 1 and level 2 independently. This means that on LAN interfaces, interval of, interval of sending level 1 hello and level 2 hello can be different. Second, if you configure hello time as minimal, which is shown here, the hold time value will be one second, and hello time value is determined according to the hello multiplier. For example, by configuring hello time as minimal and the value of three as hello multiplier, the hello timer will be one third of one second. Another important point is that the value of hello time and hold time in designated IS rotor is one third of the configured time. The reason for that is to detect quickly when designated IS rotor is failed. We will discuss this further on the next sections. By default, the value of hello time and hold time in designated IS is three. 0.3 seconds and 10 seconds. You can also use the command show CLNS IS neighbors instead of show IS IS neighbors, show CLNS IS neighbors to view the IS IS neighbor table, system ID, and type of the neighbors, level 1 or level 2 are shown also in the output of show CLNS neighbors. The sixth column in this output shows the circuit ID. You know that the circuit ID is used to address the interface in the rotor. As already mentioned, if the interface type is a LAN interface, the circuit ID refers to the system ID of designated IS rotor. From this output, we can understand that designated IS in the LAN network is rotor 4 for level 1 adjacency and rotor 5 for level 2 adjacency.